Hey, it's Aaron the Ho from Mobile Reviews A.C, and today we are going to do a review of the Catalyst waterproof case for the iPhone 6. This case will let you take your uh, iPhone into the water up to a depth of 16.4 feet. That's pretty deep. The Catalyst looks more like a bumper than an actual waterproof case. The clear back is a nice design feature as it allows you to showcase your iPhone. The entire design of the case is really nice, but it doesn't do well in terms of access to your iPhone and the screen and certain buttons. In short, the Catalyst is just an above average waterproof case that will protect your iPhone but hamper the accessibility of your iPhone inside the case. Based on our time with the case, we gave it a score of 3.8 A's out of 5. It scores just as high. Well, actually, this score is just a smidge higher than the Lifeproof Free, which we also gave at 3.8 A's. A's out of 5, but due to rounding errors, um, this catalyst is higher, trust us. Um, it scores higher than the CDO Obex and the Dog and Bone Wetsuit. We will give a slightly more detailed comparison between the catalyst and free at the end of this video, and if you'd rather read the rest of this review, head over to our website, and if you're trying to figure out which waterproof iPhone case to get, head over to our comparison tool. Real usage, real reviews, mobile reviews, eh? .ca. Now, mobile reviews a.ca, we base our reviews on actual usage. With these tougher cases, we have a lot more fun with them, as we'll do pretty awful things to them. We'll drop them, we'll put them in water or dishwashers, and we'll do general awful things to them. Now, if you watched our torture test video, I did tell you that there was a reason why I have so many of these cases, and I'll tell you in a bit. I am planning on giving them all away as well, so do stay tuned. In terms of design, the Catalyst is a fairly slim case and keeps the general roundness of your iPhone. It's not as small as the LifeProof Free, but definitely isn't as bulky as the Cedia Obex or the Dog and Bone Wetsuit. Installation of the case is fairly straightforward as you just snap two pieces together with your phone in it, but during our testing period we did notice that one piece of the case may be easier to lose if you're not careful. In terms of build quality, we're big fans of how it holds up over time and the clear back generally stays clear as the rubber feet on the back of the case keep it off a flat surface. Now the only gripe that I have about the build quality about this case is that it squeaks. Like I don't know if you can, I'm pretty sure you could hear that. It squeaks. Now that may seem really concerning to certain people, but this is kind of, I wouldn't, I don't know if it's a known issue, but Catalyst is aware of it. And it squeaks across all the cases that we've had and we've done awful things to the iPhone and all these squeaky cases and the iPhone is fine. So I don't think it's a concern, but still it's a little disconcerting to know that your iPhone case squeaks. There are a couple of improvements that Catalyst has made with the 6 version over the 5S version as the outer bumper is now rubber instead of the hard plastic and the back plate seems to be tucked in a little better. There's a lot more stuff to hold on to with this iPhone case and it just generally improves the handling. Now we're big fans of case manufacturers who like to make their products better unlike certain other case manufacturers that don't. Otterbox. Now despite the squeaking, this case is pretty tough. We've put this iPhone in a catalyst through the dishwasher, snow, and concrete. With the, our iPhone 5S version, the catalyst was the only case to completely come apart during one of our six foot drops. We were worried that this was going to be the case for the sixth version, but after dropping it a couple times and filling it all, it stayed together, which is awesome. Just for the record, the catalyst can be dropped from a height of 6.6 .6 feet or 2 meters, which isn't actually anything special in the world of tough iPhone cases. In terms of water protection, the catalyst is a tougher iPhone case, as it allows you to take your iPhone up to depths of 16.4 feet, which is more than twice as much as you could do with the free, nude, obex, and wetsuit. If you're into snorkeling out of the shallow, submerged water sports, i definitely go with the catalyst. It comes with an optional installable wrist strap, but if you spend a bit more money, you can get one that floats. If listening to music while submerging your iPhone is something you like to do, get the headphone jack extension, but again, you'd have to dish out an extra $15 to get that accessory. As we mentioned in the design section, the plug will come out easier out of the lightning port connector, so when using the headphone jack extension, do be careful when you're taking this in and out of the open water, because if this plug comes off, then your phone's going to get wet. The screen protector on the Catalyst is on the thicker side and holds up well against debris, coins, and keys. Now in terms of accessing your iPhone inside this case, this is kind of where the Catalyst doesn't do as well. These buttons on the side are incredibly tough to press. The power or the sleep button as well as the volume buttons are really, really tough and that, that's annoying to me. The mute switch is really nice because you access it using this wonderful turn knob which is... I love that rather than the really stiff plastic flip things that are that you find on the lifeproof cases. Getting to the hardware ports on the case is a cinch as all you have to do is pull back the rubber plugs that completely seal the jacks. The cutouts are large enough to handle larger than average Apple accessories. Sound coming from the iPhone inside the Catalyst waterproof case is noticeably quieter from the earpiece speaker, but it really isn't an issue for the regular speaker, though we do have to point out that the sound does change because the sound doesn't come out the bottom, it comes out the back of the case. And so yeah, there's a less chance that you're going to cover the speaker grill because it's coming out the back, it's very complicated and Catalyst even includes a how to hold your iPhone properly for a best sound. 
The Touch ID membrane works and it isn't one of those clear sticky or wet looking membranes, which we'd like. There are cutouts for the camera and the flash. The edges on the flash are a little higher so you will get a bit of cropping of the uh, True Tone flash on your flash photography. In terms of accessing your screen inside the case, the screen protector on the Catalyst does have a noticeable gap and it does reduce the sensitivity of your iPhone's touch screen just a smidge. It's a very slight sensitivity loss that I've noticed the most while scrolling through a Facebook feed. There is a bump where the earpiece speaker membrane is and that makes that area right underneath that little bump a little dead in terms of sensitivity. In terms of screen viewability, the gap between the screen protector increases the glare which makes the reflections coming off the iPhone wobbly. There is a slight diffusion of the iPhone's touchscreen, but if you're looking at it from a normal distance, so not face to face with it, it's not going to be an issue. Fingerprinting and grease marks isn't really a big issue, but even if it does accumulate after a while of use, it's just, you know, wash it. It's waterproof. So again, we give the Catalyst a score 3.8 A's out of 5. It's just a smidge higher than the uh, Life Proof Free. Now, before I get to the quick comparison that I'm going to do between these two cases, if this is the first time you watch one of my videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe as we produce content two to three times a week, um, usually about reviews. So do click subscribe. Now, there's a couple of criteria that I think you guys should think about if you're trying to choose between these two cases. Um, in terms of protection, the Catalyst is the tougher case. You could go down to five meters or six 60.4 feet with the catalyst the free can only go to two now if you're looking for a case to use on a day-to-day -day basis then i'd go with the free because every accessing your iphone is so much better inside of the free however if you like to look at the retina hd screen and all its full glory then you would have to go with the catalyst so it's kind of a toss-up which is kind of why i've rated them kind of in an equal manner if you're thinking price might become an issue, this is a $69 case. It doesn't come with a headphone jack extension, which the LifeProof Free comes with. And so, you know, you spend $15, then the price is almost equal. Um, so, so that's all I got. Now I am going to be giving away these cases, but I'm giving away three $70 cases. So you guys are going to have to work a little harder. Um, there's two things that need to happen. This video needs to get, I'm going to say 362 likes. That's not that hard to do you guys so give it a thumbs up and then once that hits 362 likes I'm going to send a tweet and everybody who retweets that tweet will be entered into the draw it's a two-step process I know I'm making it complicated but hey these are nice cases um, if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below you can find us Google plus Twitter Instagram I'm on Tumblr but I haven't updated in over a year because I don't know what to do with the Tumblr um, I'm Aaron the home thank you for watching Now, lastly, in terms of protection, I do have to make fun of Catalyst for their packaging because they've got the five meters, you've got the two meters, and they've got the six X. You're like, holy crap, it's six times dirt and snow proof. No, that six X rep represents the IP68X uh, military standard specifications for dirt and snow proof. It's not six times as waterproof. Marketing fail. I really hope that was a marketing fail because then it'd just be a fail on my part. YouTuber fail.